So in this video, we will be going over vocabulary in the bathroom. So all of these are things you will find in the bathroom. Let's get started. Hamper. Hamper. So hamper or clothes, clothing hamper. It's where you put your dirty laundry. So clothes after you wear them. Hamper. Bathtub. Bathtub. You take a bath in a bathtub. This is an old bathtub. It has claw feet. These are those little things right here. Bathtub. Soap dish. Soap dish. You put your soap in a soap dish. Soap dish. Soap. Sorry for the noise. It's very windy outside and I have the window open. Sorry. Rubber mat. Rubber mat. You put a rubber mat in your shower or bath to keep yourself from falling, from slipping. It helps your feet grab the ground. It's a rubber mat. Washcloth. Washcloth. A washcloth is like a very small towel. You put soap on it and then you rub it on your body. Washcloth. Drain. Drain. A bathtub has a drain, a shower has a drain, and a sink has a drain. The drain is where the water exits. It's where the water drains. Faucet. Faucet. Water comes out of the faucet. Faucet. Hot water. Hot water. I would say this is a hot water knob. So hot water, cold water. Usually hot water is red colored or it says hot. Cold is blue or says cold. Grab bar, grab bar. You can have a grab bar in a shower or bath or by a toilet. Usually Grab bars are for older people that need help standing up or that are afraid they could fall. A grab bar. Very common in hospitals, too. In hospitals, bathrooms always have grab bars. Tile. Tile. Tile is just a type of floor. So tile floor. Tile. Shower head. Shower head. Water comes out of the shower head. The shower head is in the shower. Shower head. Shower curtain. Shower curtain. A shower curtain keeps the water from getting outside of the shower or bath. So you need a shower curtain to keep water off your floor. Shower curtain. Also for privacy, so people can't see you. Shower curtain. Towel rack. Towel rack. A towel rack is where you put your towels. It kind of looks like a grab bar, but it is not. Grab bars are stronger. This is a towel rack. This is only for towels. Bath towel. Bath towel. A bath towel is a big towel that you wrap around your body after the shower. It's big enough to cover your body. Bath towel. Hand towel. Hand towel. A hand towel is bigger than a washcloth, but smaller than a bath towel. It's what you use to dry your hands after you wash them. Hand towel. Mirror. Mirror. Most bathrooms have mirrors. 
mirror. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. You use toilet paper to clean yourself after you go to the bathroom. Toilet paper. Toilet brush. <clears throat> toilet brush. <clears throat> <clears throat> toilet brush. A toilet brush is used to clean the inside of a toilet because you don't want to touch it. A toilet brush is used to clean a toilet. Plunger. Plunger. Sometimes the toilet can't handle it. Sometimes when you flush, what you put in the toilet, your poop, your pee, your toilet paper, it does not go down. You use a plunger to unclog a toilet. That way it works again. Plunger. This is a toilet. So the whole thing is a toilet. This U-shaped part right here, that is a toilet seat. That is a toilet seat. The part on the back where the water is, is a toilet tank. And then this little thing here, that's a handle. You use it to flush. But the whole thing is a toilet. Urinal. Urinal. You can pee standing up in a urinal. Urinal. Bidet. Bidet. A bidet is an alternative to toilet paper. It lets you wash downstairs. Bidets aren't very common in the United States, but they are becoming more common. You can even have a bidet that's attached to your toilet. This is a separate bidet, so you would have this and a toilet bidet, but you do not go to the bathroom in a bidet. You No pee or poo-poo in the bidet, please. Medicine cabinet. Medicine cabinet. A medicine cabinet is above the sink. Usually there is a mirror in front of it and you can put shampoo, medicine, your toothbrush, but typically it's for medicine. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. You use a toothbrush to brush your teeth. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. You use toothpaste and a toothbrush to clean your teeth. Toothbrush holder. Toothbrush holder. You put your toothbrushes or toothbrush in a toothbrush holder. Sink. Just like in the kitchen. It's a sink. Although it has a different shape. Sink. Scale. Scale. You use a bathroom scale to find out how much you weigh. Scale. Bath mat. Bath mat. You step out of the shower or the bath onto a bath mat. It keeps the floor from getting wet. So you drip your waterfalls onto the bath mat. All right, so that's all for the bathroom vocabulary. Feel free to watch the video again, and if you have any questions, please leave them down below.